We talked a bit about the sun being ruled by Mercury. I know Mo went through a, a red tie, blue tie thing, and that makes a lot of sense because Mercury is the trickster. Mercury is the twins, the two faces of Gemini. So he does really have this at his core essence. Now, his Mercury is also located in the 12th house. So this planet Mercury rules his sun from, it's in Cancer, and it's in the 12th house, which we consider a hidden house. It's also a house, it can be a house of loss, and also sometimes expresses itself as a house of fear fear. So there can be perhaps for him, you know, sort of this loss feeling like he's, well, <laughs> let me back up. So Mercury also has to do with communication. Yeah. So there's this sense of maybe not being able to express himself very well because we have Mercury, this air sign in this emotional water sign of cancer. Cancer is very much about home. It's about protection. So there may be a way where he doesn't communicate out exactly what he feels. He protects his thoughts. He may also have trouble. There's a lot of emotion related to his thinking and his expression. And the other thing about Mercury is that you know how it's difficult to understand him sometimes. And I sort of see that, first of all, he's got Chiron in this house, uh, the third house of communication. And so Chiron is about things where we have a wound. So he could have like had a wound around his ability to express himself with being in Libra, express himself with a sense of balance and, you know, express himself well in relationships maybe even sort of wounds with his siblings as a youngster or some sort of trouble learning or communicating in early education so that's one thing that could have happened but the other thing is with mercury we have a what we call a square, like a 90 degree relationship. A square is like friction. It's in the nature of Mars. So between Mercury and Neptune, which is about confusion, fantasy, just sometimes lies. So this is where we may get the sense that he's not always quite telling the whole truth. He's got Neptune in the third house of communication. So there's just not a lot of clarity all the time in the way that he communicates. Or people may not understand him, even though like he says that he may be telling the truth, but the sound waves are not coming through that clearly. You know, the connection is not five by five, as you would say. So there is that. But what Neptune can also do is it can create some imagination. In this way, he's got to resolve some sort of conflict between his community and home. So there's some kind of way where he doesn't understand how to maybe express himself properly in the larger networks in, in his community. Also, with Mercury being in the 12th house, there is a relationship to the larger con collective, the super consciousness. It's a kind of a spiritual house if you get past the sort of karmic kind of stuff that's in this house. So his Mercury, he may actually have a lot of inspirational ideas being in the 12th house, being in Cancer, which is also a very sort of psychic sign. Having Mercury there you know, Mercury in water is not that clear, but he can have more of an intuitive connection with his thoughts and get a lot of connection about what the collective wants. He gets this from the 12th house. And this also informs his son, which is speaking to the people. So I, I find that very interesting. 